Hi, this is Paddles. He's uh, one of the Gold Noldies rescues. And he's here for a comprehensive physical examination, vaccination, health check, those sorts of things. So I just thought I'd let you in on, on what we do. So the first thing is that each patient that comes in and has one of those, we fill in a health, I fill in a health report card for these guys. And a health report card goes through, uh, during a health check, I go through each one of these items, every single one, and mark down what's normal, what's abnormal, and then what needs to be done and when it needs to be done by. So this is individualized for every patient. So this, the owners then take this home and they can keep this on the fridge as a reminder of the next step in, in their pet's health plan. So that's uh, really, really, really important. Um, and I'll, I'll go through that with you in a sec, but just while we're on that, the other thing, if, if I had the client here and he's been dropped in for the day, I also uh, prepare a life chart for all these patients. So as you can see, the life chart starts at two weeks of age and goes all the way through to 15. And these are all signposts of what needs to be done and at what age. So when is worming due? When do we start on uh, vaccination? Is the dog microchipped? Um, when are the teeth checked? When are the teeth coming out by? Um, so this maps through every single thing that uh, a patient needs doing in their whole life. So again, every owner gets an individualized copy of this for their dog. They can put that on their fridge or in their dogs or cats. Um, health record folder, and then they know what needs to be done at each point. These life charts are very important, to both the dog and the cat one, too, for even owners who have had multiple pets, because it's really easy to forget what needs to be done and when it needs to be done by. So let's get back to this fella. The first thing we start with is listening to the heart and the lungs with the stethoscope. Heart's perfect. Lungs on that side are excellent. As are the lungs on the other side. I'm going to go through this a bit more quickly than I normally would. I'd normally pay a lot more, uh, take a lot more time, but for the sake of the video, we'll do it, do it quickly. The next thing is to look at his ears with an otoscope. And even though he's a Cocker Spaniel and Cocker Spaniels are notorious for their ear problems, he's got pristine ears. And I do this every time we see a patient. Now, uh, his hair and coat is nice, there's no knots or anything else. Now his eyes have obviously got problems, he's got a nice cataract in there, so I can't see through that cataract with my ophthalmoscope, so he's very blind in that eye. Uh, this eye, uh, the same, got a mature cataract. So I normally use the ophthalmoscope to look all the way in the back of the eye and assess the health of the whole eye. Um, I can't do that today. I can only see the front of the eye. Then we have the, the head and the symmetry, which is perfect. He's got a lot of crusting and scaling skin disease around his eyes. That's been there for quite a while. So we'll, we'll uh, make a treatment plan and manage that. He's got really good teeth, but he's missing quite a few. So they're, they're quite good teeth, but he's missing uh, quite a few. And then, it's all right, I'm not popping any pills. Make sure there's no cancers or anything in his mouth. His teeth are good. A couple here not so good, so we'll uh, do something about them. Put these away. Then we get to the skin, as I said, and we can already see that there's a big lump here. I'll do uh, what's called a fine needle aspirate on that lump later on and find out what it is. My suspicion is from its feel and whatnot that it's a lipoma or a fatty cyst. So we also have this little papilloma or wart here, so that's of no consequence. Now let's stand this old man up check out all the joints, wrist, elbow, shoulder, they're all good. 
nails will trim on uh, later on, wrist, shoulder and elbow, they're all good. And the same on the back end, hips and knees, and he's got really bad, got really bad hips. Very severe arthritis in his hips and his uh, both hips. Check the anal sacs. They're good. He's got quite a few skin issues which we'll sort out um, over the next few weeks. And obviously check his testicles. Um, dogs do get cancer on their testicles. And uh, if you like to come in here, we'll actually turn him over. It's all right. He's got some very enlarged nipples. Um, He's obviously been neglected for a long period of time. That's why he's come into Golden Oldies. Got some skin problems under there, which like I said, we'll manage. Uh, and then, we, as well as we check out the thorax with the stethoscope, we also palpate his abdomen, and I'll feel uh, the liver and its size. And typically, I can't in him, he's a bit tense. We can palpate the kidneys, and, and the bladder. So that just gives you an idea of, of the uh, exam we do, a comprehensive physical exam when a patient comes in, especially associated with the health check, health check and the importance of the health report card. On the back of the report card, we give a whole heap of information about vaccinations and worming and whatnot so that people keep being reminded of those crucial things that are necessary to keep pets healthy. I'll see you in the next video.